In the day ahead, Prince George's County honors the man who helped revitalize the county. Wayne Curry died one week ago after a battle with lung cancer. I knew Wayne for a long time. He was a good man. Good yeah, man. Yeah, everyone says that. And our John Gonzalez is live in Upper Marlboro with more on today's special honor for a man who meant so much to so many. John. Jimmy and Brad, he always carried himself with such class and today a tremendous and posthumous honor for a man who meant so much to Prince George's County. The body of former County Executive Wayne Curry will lie in repose today here inside the County Administration Building. And if you take a look at the exterior of the building this morning, it is already dressed with black bunting and local officials, local leaders, including the current County Executive, Rashern Baker, will give remarks at 9 o'clock this morning here. And then we understand and, uh, well, actually, shortly before that, the procession with the casket carrying the body of Mr. Curry will arrive here, and the public viewing will begin, allowing everyone to essentially come and pay their final respects until 7 o'clock tonight. Visitors are being advised to park at the Showplace Arena. Thousands are expected to come through these doors here today. Curry, who died of lung cancer last week, became the county's first black county executive, known as Mr. Prince George. George's County. He held that post from 94 to 2002, and he's the man who many say moved the Redskins to Maryland. He laid the foundation, if you will, not only for FedEx Field, but also the National Harbor and the Largo Metro Station. He will be laid to rest tomorrow. And we understand that all county employees today will be given two hours paid administrative leave to be able to attend this very special public viewing. Reporting live in Upper Marlboro this morning, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.